Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about the scikit-learn library of Python. Now, this library is used a lot for machine learning modeling. Let's go to code. So, scikit-learn helps us do a couple of tasks. The first task is pre-processing the data. So, pre-processing involves imputing the missing values, encoding the categorical variables, normalizing the data and so on. Then you can build different kinds of models like linear regression, classification models like decision tree and so on. And finally, you can also automate this entire process of taking in the data, pre-processing it, training different models and making a prediction on them. Let's see one by one. There are six main steps to create a machine learning model in scikit-learn. You can import the model, then you need to prepare the data set, then you need to separate the independent target variables, create an object of the model, fit the model with the data, which basically means train the model and use the model to predict the target. So I have imported scikit-learn and it's already present when you install Anaconda, so we are not getting any error. In case you get any error with the version, you can just run this piece of code. In this course, we need the version 22.1. So the first thing that we do is, we just import a data set. As you can see, there are certain values missing in these two columns, item weight and outlet size. So this is where the simple imputer comes into picture. Scikit-learn gives you a functionality using which you can impute these values. So you can just give the column name and you can decide which strategy you want. For example, if it's a numerical column, then you want to replace the missing values by the mean of the column. If it's a categorical column, then you want to replace by the most frequent category in the column. So we just run this piece of code. And finally, after running the above piece of code, you realize that all the missing values of the data set has been dealt with. Next. You can create regression and classification models in scikit-learn. It provides a lot of classification regression models. For example, linear regression, decision reclassifier. And you can use the pipeline feature of scikit-learn to create a pipeline that essentially helps you automate everything from the minute the data comes in, pre-processing the data, building the machine learning models and making prediction on them. Let's see the documentation of scikit-learn. So this is a documentation of scikit-learn. There is classification, you have algorithms like SPM, nearest neighbors, random first, etc. For regression, you have multiple algorithms, you have clustering, model selection, pre-processing, feature extraction, dimension reduction. So you have a lot of things and you can just click on one of them and see what classification algorithms you have. So there are multiple such algorithms and this library performs really well. So this was scikit-learn in a nutshell. Apart from this, scikit-learn also comes with a couple of data sets of its own that we'll see in the next video. But machine learning modeling is something that we'll cover in greater depth if you are part of the applied machine learning course.